Okay, hey, just kind of want to let you know as we're doing this here. I went and changed it, it didn't work, but uh, this is supposed to be in 90 right here. 90 points for the problem to work right. Uh, they got dimes, quarters, and nickels. All right. And we're going to set up a matrix like this below here because nickels are worth 5 cents, dimes are worth 10 cents. I just didn't put point 10. Quarters are 25 cents, it adds up to 13.50. And know how many coins you have adds up to 90. Remember, this is supposed to be 90 coins here. So we want to know how many quarters the person has. And it says there are twice as many quarters as dimes. So basically, if I take two times the number of dimes, it equals the number of quarters. Yet if I make one of these negative and one one, it will equal a value of zero because I don't know how much there actually is. So that's how I set this up. I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to go to the function, like right here, I'm going to hit this matrices number. It needs to be a three by three, okay? And then I want to type, and then I want to make sure that I make, after I type in my numbers, I hit this here to the negative one, as you can see that right there. And then my numbers are all typed in there. I have a negative one here. I have to arrow out to make the negative one. I have to do the times, arrow out right there. I'm now gonna do, hit this button here and do another matrices, but this time it will be a three by one. See, it's changed to a one. And I'm going to put my 90, my 13.5, and 0. And then I just hit enter. And it tells me the answer is 30, 20, and 40. So it is the, the last number is the quarters because it was nickels, dimes, quarters. So there are 40 quarters. There are 40 quarters. Here's another one. This time we're going to have to write the matrices and numbers ourselves. Notice this one does not have a Z. All right. So when I set it up, See how I wrote my numbers? 1, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 2, and a 0 because there is no Z. Now, if there was a Z and the Y was 0, I put the 0 in the middle, but it's not. And I'm going to set it up like this here with my negative 1. It's going to look like that in my calculator. I'm going to do it just exactly like I did the previous one with the calculator. And I get these answers right here, negative 5, negative 5, 3, which I would write like that for an answer. That would be my order triple. And I would use the same calculator steps I did on this previous problem. If you need to, you can back it up. It's just the numbers will be different. And here we're going to actually set one up. So we see Jennifer, Monica, and Joe bought identical priced cans of chili. Okay, jalapenos are identically priced jars of salsa to make a dip. Okay, so Jennifer bought three cans of chili, two jars of jalapenos, and five jars of salsa. Makes 11, 13. Monica bought two cans of chili, one jalapeno, three salsa for 9.72. And Vivek bought one chili, two jars, and one salsa. So here's what we're going to do. Use an X for chili, Y for jalapenos, and Z for salsa. Three chilies, two jalapenos, five salsas equals 11, 13. X, Y, Z. Let me see that. Three X plus two Y plus five Z. So now I'm going to go to Monica. She's going to have two X, one Y, and three Z equals 972. And Vivek's going to have one X. 2y and 1z at 452 and I believe that's all I had to do because I think I had to just write the equation on this one although if you wanted to solve it you put it in your matrices like that just like we did on the other one to hit your enter to find out what the answer would be I don't think I did that on this particular one